Hey guys, um, today's video we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, centrifusion technology. Um, you might have looked at the virtual line machines and seen that they use this kind of technology, but you might be wondering what it is and how it differs from the original machine um, that uses just the, the standard pump technology. So, to explain, let's just start with the original machine and explain a little bit how that works. You know, it works in just the same way as an espresso machine would work in a coffee shop so the the water is pumped through and then it goes through the pod and you can see it just go the, it, the pod gets punctured the water gets fired through the pod at pressure and then it comes out and is extracted as a normal espresso and that will have just a, a, a thin layer of crema on top and um, just a nice natural layer of crema and Centrifusion technology is quite, it's a bit controversial in the coffee world because of that crema, but we'll talk about that in a second. So onto the virtual machine again now, the virtual, or virtual line, whatever you like to call it. This uses centrifusion technology, which is different because, and we can see that it's different from the pod itself that it uses. So you can see there's a punctured hole in the middle and there's a load of little holes around the edge here. And what happens is if we just open this up, I'll just turn it on. We open the machine up, you'll see that what happens is you place your pod, you, pl you place your pod inside and it starts to spin. So the water goes into this small hole here and then as it spins at about 7,000 revs per minute, it whizzes round in here and then it, the, the coffee gets extracted by a centrifugal force out of these smaller holes. So rather than being forced through, in a sense, at pump, uh, at pump pressure, it's centrifugal force and it extracts the coffee by spinning it. So what does this mean for crema? Well, it creates a thicker crema on the virtual machine than it does on the original machine. And that can be good for, if you're trying to make, a, like the, the virtual line machine is designed more for bigger coffees like a mug coffee and because it creates more of a crema you still get a bit of crema on those bigger coffees whereas you might not if you just if you were to try that on one of these original machines the problem is that a lot of people feel that it's not a natural crema and that it's actually a foam so they think that it's not like if it's a it, to be a natural crema it has to go through a pump process and be extracted via a pump and a lot of people just feel that it's not as a natural one. And if you make an espresso with this machine, then the crema on top will be thicker, but people feel it's not as nice or it's not as natural. So that's why people seem to prefer this machine for, a, for like mug coffees, if that's what you're into, but they prefer the original machine if you prefer espresso coffee because it, they view it as a more natural extraction method than an espresso machine. So just to recap, centrifusion, it basically whizzes round, spins the, the capsule, puts the water in here, spins the capsule at about 7,000 revs per minute, and then the coffee is extracted by a centrifugal force out of the capsule and into your mug or cup. Whereas with your original machine, it just gets forced through at pressure, as it would in a, with a standard espresso machine, and that creates a more natural crema. So hopefully that explains a bit about the difference between centrif um, centrifusion and pump pressure. What I will say is a lot of people, they still, they like this machine. It, like, does it affect the taste? It's debatable. Some people feel that the taste isn't as good on this machine because of that centrifusion, whereas some people don't seem to have a problem with it. I quite like the coffee that comes out of the virtual line machine, but I also like the coffee out of the original machine. And one day, I think what I'll do is I'll taste just the espresso part side by side and just see if I can really taste much of a difference. And I'll do a video on that in future. But hopefully this has helped you to understand centrifusion a bit more. If you've liked the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to learn more about espresso and keep up to date with what we're doing and new videos that come out and hit the notification button or bell to make sure that any new videos come to your phone and you can just quickly watch them.